Have you ever in your life seen something like this? Quicker. Spurs harass Wallace into a turnover and oh now, just in case you didn't quite see what happened, let's slow this down. Right here is Case and Wallace with the ball, and here is Victor Wembanyama. Wallace creates some separation, and pause here. What is that? Who is that? With one foot practically at the three-point line, and his other foot and arm at the free throw line, Wemby manages to strip Wallace. We've all heard the saying to be in two places at once. That's no longer a figure of speech when it comes to Victor Wembanyama, and I truly mean that, because that's not the only jaw-dropping defensive play he's made in his first two preseason games. How about this play where Highsmith throws the ball inside? And pause here. This is Victor Wembanyama in a two-on-one situation. The Heat player makes the right pass to the cutting Bryant, but Wemby manages to turn his head and in one motion block the dunk attempt, which doesn't even come close to what he did on this play. Dort initially sets the screen, and Wemby looks completely lost as J-Dub crosses him up, but somehow Wemby gets back into the picture and swats it away. In two preseason games, Victor Wembanyama is averaging 21.5 points per game to go along with four assists and two blocks in just 20 minutes of play. Now, it's just preseason, but in case you were wondering, over 36 minutes, that would round out to, yeah, decent numbers for a rookie. But more importantly than the numbers, he's already making defensive plays that no one else in the league can make. Yeah, even Giannis isn't doing this. Don't just take my word for it. Devin Vassell said the exact same thing. I mean, defensively, I, I don't even know what to say. I mean, there's... Nobody else in the league who can do some of the stuff that he can do. And no disrespect to Giannis, but he's also not doing this either. Got the screen from Osmond. Oh, with a nice little dribble right there, shaking. Bang! Yes, that really happened. Just to put this into perspective, this is Victor Wembanyama standing next to Rudy Gobert, and these are players in NBA history taller than Victor Wembanyama. Now, out of those players, Yao Ming undoubtedly had the best career, finishing as an eight-time All-Star and averaging nearly 20 and 10 for his entire career. Now, in that career, this was the best handling highlight he had, as he got the ball in transition, went around his back to beat the defender, and slammed it home. This isn't a slander to Yao, who had a great career as a low post scorer, but it's just to emphasize there is no precedent for someone seven foot five and above that can legitimately put the ball on the floor and go to work like a guard, crossing one way and going back the other way. Oh, and just to cap it off, he has a fluid, beautiful release. And just in case for whatever reason, you still aren't convinced, Firstly, get help. But secondly, from this same game, he also did this. He brings the ball up the floor. Trey Jones sets the screen. Yes, that's point guard Trey Jones setting the screen. Wemby gives it up, Jones throws it up, and look where Wemby catches the ball. In this situation, most people would gather it and then try to go up. Yeah, Wemby doesn't do that, as he somehow just makes it work. Or from the same game where he gives it up to Vassell, they run a pick and pop. Robinson closes out to him, so he puts it on the floor, spins back inside, and knocks it down. And it's this right here which makes Victor Wembanyama the most unique prospect in NBA history. Not only does he have the skill to handle the ball, unlike anyone we've ever seen at that size, not only can he also finish when he he gets to his spots, but the mobility and coordination for someone that size, it genuinely does not make sense. And another example of that is from the OKC game, where Wemby gets the ball at the three-point line. He pump fakes, spins inside, and the up and under layup with his opposite hand. There are guards in the league that don't have that level of control or touch. Guards. This is a seven foot five shot blocking monster looking like Dr. J. Oh, and for what it's worth, if you watch this entire position, before Wemby gets the ball back, he dropped this absolute dime to a cutter. And despite the hype, if there is one area of his game that doesn't get nearly enough attention, it's his passing ability. And pretty much all of those assists have come as a result of defenses panicking whenever he puts the ball on the floor and immediately going to send help. Because what else are you supposed to do when someone that size is handling it like that? Yet despite the defensive attention, he's already shown such an advanced understanding of when and where he needs to find his teammates. Like here where he starts backing down the smaller defender. The defender helps off Vassell, so Wemby just makes the right pass out to Devon for three. But my favorite pass from him in preseason has definitely been this one. Sohan gives it to him in the post, 
and Wemby waits, expecting the double. And when it arrives, he drops the dime over the top of Robinson's head to the cutting Sohan for two. And it's these kind of plays where he could really dice teams up as a playmaker. The defense has to decide, are they going to send help or are they going to let him just shoot an uncontested jumper every time? Because that's pretty much what any of his shots are. They are uncontested. Just to emphasize that, two minutes later, Wemby got to his spot again. And with the defense not sending help this time, he just rose up and knocked down the midi. Even on this play, where he casually spins one way before crossing back and with the help edging over, he kicks it out to Vassell for the three. Now, what's even more exciting about his passing ability is who he's playing for. This is Greg Popovich. This is the San Antonio Spurs. And whilst it would be fun to watch Wemby ISO 30 times a game, the fact he's going to learn to play winning basketball from day one is what's going to give this team the best chance of winning multiple chips going forward. Now, just to emphasize how easy he makes everyone's job, this is what Pop said following the recent game. I called one play for him all night, and I think he got over 20. Uh, he just did that because he's a good basketball player. And this also speaks to Wemby's skill set as a big man. I've talked about how ridiculous it is that he can bring the ball up, hit a crossover, and then get to his spot, but it's equally ridiculous that he can move off the ball at full speed, catch it in rhythm, and rise up for either a mid-range shot or knock it down from beyond the arc. And when you think of the recent NBA champions, it's no coincidence that the best players have all been willing off-ball movers. Nikola Jokic, Steph Curry, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Wemby has a lot of those traits in his own unique way. In addition to this, you know what this says about the Spurs as a team? Everyone on that team understands just how good this man can be, because despite Pop not telling them to run the offense through him, despite it being preseason and everyone looking to create for themselves, guys like Vassell, Sohan, and Jones were constantly looking to get him the ball in advantageous positions, and having selfless teammates shouldn't be over look. But you know what's hilarious? I'm now several minutes into this video and haven't even mentioned that he can make plays like this as well. It's impossible to pinpoint the most intriguing part of Wemby's game, but if he can consistently use the leverage he has as a shooter and a ball handler to get downhill and just attack every possession, like you see with Giannis or even a younger Anthony Davis, it's scary to think what he could do given he's even bigger than those guys with more of a threat as a shooter. Oh, he also shot 83% from the line in France. <laughs> so don't even think about Hacker Wemby either. Not to mention the lob threat he poses. You saw him call for that lob from the free throw line, but in the same game, he nearly threw down a reverse alley-oop on a mistimed lob. Just sit back and enjoy, because the hype is real. Very, very real.